Globally, we produce over 400 million tonnes of plastic every year. That's equivalent to 40,000 Eiffel Towers. Most of it won't be recycled. It'll end up in landfill or being incinerated or escaping to the environment. We need to reduce the amount of plastic we produce. We need to reuse it where possible. And when it reaches its end of life, we need more advanced recycling technologies that can turn it into something useful. My name is Professor Andy Pickford. We're at the University of Portsmouth, which is the lead institution for the P3EB Engineering Biology Mission Hub. So the Mission Hub brings together researchers and innovators from across the UK to combine their expertise and tackle plastic pollution. Engineering biology really starts with understanding natural processes that go on inside cells. Once we learn that knowledge, we can then apply it in designing different systems based on molecules and enzymes. Nature has spent millions of years creating processes that can break things down like uh, plant matter, uh, other natural products that are very, very similar to plastics. So we're hunting around in the environment trying to find these interesting microbes and fungi and other things that might show evidence of breaking down plastics. And then we're trying to break open their genomes, look inside and see what interesting enzymes we can find that could be taken into the process that the Mission Hub has set up. The key now is to find the best enzymes for breaking plastics down and to identify how we can change these, evolve these, to make them the best at what they do. Seven universities are involved in this mission hub. We have collaborators based in Portsmouth, Imperial College London and UCL, also Cambridge, Manchester, Bangor and Edinburgh. To give you an example, at University College London, we are going to be working with people across the areas of policy and interacting with stakeholders and the public, together with engineers, bioinformaticians and biochemical engineers and chemists. So the impact can be absolutely enormous. I mean, if we can break down the types of plastic that we are targeting, this hub will enable us to be a global leader with the type of technologies that are going to emerge. So one of the things that's really important to us in the Hub is about creating an entrepreneurial culture. As we come together with our industry partners to co-create our solutions and be led by industry in terms of those needs, as well as commercialising some of our own innovations and technologies as we take them forward for the benefit of the UK. Sometimes we don't know what the future will hold and how they will be applied, but that's what's exciting about what we do. So the individual institutions in the hub were already at the forefront of their own research efforts before the hub was established. By coupling us together in this way, we become even stronger, placing the UK right at the forefront of this type of science.